Hey guys, this is Kevin from Jazz Time, and today we'll be reviewing the Rolex Datejust, uh, reference number 116200. We'll be going over the price, dial, bezel, case, crown, bracelet, class, and we'll talk about the movement towards the end of the video. Okay, so as of February 2017, you can get this uh, Rolex Datejust at a Rolex retailer for $6,600 or you can get it at jazz time for five thousand five hundred dollars that's specifically for the oyster if you're looking for jubilee you're going to be paying a little more a little more extra it's going to be five thousand six hundred dollars so just an extra hundred dollars okay so let's go ahead and jump right into reviewing the dial so a little more unique dial from the typical rolex rolex dials we now have a pink dial with this floral pattern in the background uh, no actual auto markers besides the, uh, uh, the Arabic 6 numeral and the 9. Besides that, you have the date always at the 3 o'clock position with a Cyclops lens on top for easier viewing. The hands are made out of 18 karat uh, white gold for, to prevent tarnishing. Uh, the 6 and the 9 Arabic numerals are also made out of that white gold to prevent any tarnishing as well. Okay. Uh, so specifically for this Datejust, um, it has numerous configurations. So if you don't really prefer the floral pattern in the pink, it also comes in a brown or a silver. And if you're not interested in the, if you're not interested in this overall look, uh, overall look of this one, we do. It does come in an index, and the colors for the index are black, blue, white, silver, pink. That's the dial colors. It also comes in an Arabic, uh, full Arabic numerals. Uh, however, the Arabic numerals are in blue with a silver dial background, and that's the only configuration for Arabic. Whereas the Roman has the Roman numerals. Uh, if you're looking for Roman uh, hour markers, the dial colors choices for those are black, blue, silver, white, uh, black, blue, silver, and white. So lots of dial configurations for the date just. Uh, so lots to choose from. So moving on, the, the bezel, as you can see, it's a nice dome bezel with a high polish, uh, adds more shine, uh, more shine to the watch. Move to the case size now, moving on to the case size now, we have a 36 millimeter case size. That's my index finger here to my thumb. So that's 36 millimeters in diameter. It's made out of a 904L steel, which is a in-house made, uh, Rolex's in-house made steel, which has a little more shine, a little more durability to it, and extra cor uh, corrosion resistance. The, uh, for the case itself, it's a model block middle case with a screw down case back and a winding crown. Just want to go ahead and show you the side so you can kind of see that profile. Not too big, will fit under suit cups, dress cups very nicely. Has a nice high polish, fault patterns nicely along the bracelet as well. So we move on to the crown side now. We have the typical Rolex, lo uh, typical Rolex uh, logo on the crown itself <clears throat> with the high polish again on the sides, traveling nicely pattern with the bracelet. Okay. Go, gonna go ahead and do a quick quick go through of the crown. It is a screw down twin lock double waterproofness system. So you just go ahead and unscrew counterclockwise. This is the hand winding position in which you can wind the watch clockwise as so. Ten, uh, 20 to 30 times no more you might damage the watch itself because you'll start to feel a little resistance as you approach that 20 to 30. A simple tug will allow you to adjust the date very instantaneously as you can see there, as I go clockwise. And the final t final pull will allow you to adjust the hands bi-directionally. One, to, one important thing to mention is for the second hand, it will stop the hack movement of it. Rather, the hack movement is the second hand movement. And that allows, allows you to for precise timekeeping in the sense that if you're trying to match this to your iPhone clock or your atomic clock online, you can adjust it down to the exact second. Otherwise, pressing the crown all the way back in will start the seconds moving again, and always make sure to wind the crown, or not, rather not wind the crown, but to go ahead and screw the crown back on nice and snug to make sure that this watch stays waterproof, or waterproof and has 
has a water resistance of 100 meters or 330 feet, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and move on to the bracelet now. So this is the bracelet. It's a oyster bracelet with a nice <clears throat> high polish down the center of the three-piece links, and on the outer edges of the three-piece link, uh, we have a satin finish or brush polish to add a nice contrast to that mirror, uh, or in that mirror, but the high polish in the center really brings it out more. As you can see, patterns nicely throughout the bracelet, only interrupted by the clasp, but the clasp has that same pattern as well. So moving on to the class, the class is just a very simple folding oyster class, as you can see there. Very simple, has a Rolex name engraved onto the class blade itself. Okay. Uh, one thing I want to mention is at the back of the class, we have the comfort extension link, which is at the back of it, you can adjust it for five millimeters inwards. So that's five millimeters inwards, or you can pop it out five millimeter outwards. That's five millimeter outwards. And that's for us, you know, if you have swelling of the wrist on a hot day, you can adjust for a little more comfort and obviously vice versa if it's a cold day. Okay, so let's go ahead and move on to the case or rather to the movement. So the movement is housed in a very simple oyster case back. It is Rolex's in-house caliber 3135 movement and it's a perpetual mechanical self-winding movement with a precision of minus two or plus two seconds a day. Um, the functions are the center, hour, minute, and seconds hands with the instantaneous changing of the date uh, with rapid settings I've shown you before and stopping the seconds for precise time settings as I've also shown you uh, earlier in the video. The oscillator, the oscillator is a paramagnetic blue paracomb hairspring and it winds by a bi-directional self-winding via a perpetual rotor, okay? The power reserve of this watch is a 48 hours, uh, approximately 48 hours. Okay. So let's go ahead and show you this watch on a wrist. So very simple folding class. There you are. And here is the watch. Okay. So if you're interested in purchasing this model or any other models for the lowest possible price, check out our website at jazztime.com. That's J-A-Z-T-I-M-E.com. We have the lowest prices guaranteed. We offer free shipping and a one-year warranty. And if you like the videos, please like, comment, and subscribe below. We have lots more to show you guys. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you guys soon.